obesity. 40% of Americans are overweight now. They're obese, 30 pounds overweight over their ideal weight for their body type and height and so forth. 40% of Americans are obese. This is relatively new. 50 years ago, it was like 15%, and 100 years ago, there was very rarely, you know, less than 1% of Americans were obese. And it turns out it's caused by a simple, single problem. I can walk on a horse farm, and I can tell you in 30 seconds if the horses on that farm are getting all the minerals they need. This is a little working wagon in an Amish farm in Lancaster County, Pennsylvania. And I walked on that place, and I knew immediately that the horses weren't getting all the minerals they needed because the horses were eating nibbling all along this buckboard rail, and then they just ate this one particular place. Why did they eat that one particular place? Because that's where the farmer put his hand when he jumped out of the wagon every time. His hot, sweaty hand full of what? Salt. Okay? Now, <clears throat> my daddy had a fourth grade education, and he knew every time he'd see our cattle chewing on the fence and eating dirt and chewing on the feed box instead of eating the feed, they were minerally deficient. He'd give them minerals, and it'd go away. And we usually learned painfully when we were a kid that it's not socially acceptable to chew on the furniture and eat dirt. Hmm? Bam! Don't do that anymore. That chair costs a lot of money. Ooh, okay. If you're that hungry, go into the kitchen and have a piece of pie and ice cream. Or eat a Twinkie. Or have a RC and a moon pie. And so people began to recognize these cravings, which we call pike and cribbing and animals and munchies and people. The munchies and people are pike and cribbing and animals. Pike and cribbing and animals are the munchies and people. And so we've been taught that these cravings and the munchies are due to a Twinkie deficiency. <laughs> now, if we were taught as kids that this is caused by a mineral deficiency, we'd all take minerals that have zero calories in them. Americans would all be slim. Weight problems are nothing more than a mineral deficiency disease. Now, nobody knows more about weight, weight gain, weight loss than veterinarians. Why is that? When you put an animal into the feedlot, what are they supposed to do? Lose weight or gain weight? Gain weight. So we know the technology. And snack food companies know this. They spend a lot of money on research learning the technology of weight gain. And they fix their little snacks to make sure that you just can't eat one. In fact, one of them, Lay's Potato Chips, even uses that as their motto on their bag. You just can't eat one. <laughs> and so they fix it so you're minerally deficient if you eat their stuff. Okay? But if you take your minerals, the cravings go away. And that alone, you can lose 10, 15, 20 pounds just because you're not desiring to eat things between meals. You're not going to sit there and watch TV and fill your face all night because you don't have those cravings anymore. It's not a, a problem with your self-respect. It's not a problem. You don't have a deficiency of hypnosis. You don't have a deficiency of acupuncture. You don't have a deficiency of ephedra. You have deficiencies of minerals. You take your mineral program and eat a couple of meal replacers a day. I give up some carbohydrates, which you learn from Clive McKay and, and William Banting and so forth and, and Bob Atkins. Uh, you give up carbohydrates in your bread and your pastas and your rice and your potatoes. And you're going to lose weight and keep it off. It won't come back as long as you stay on that program. But as soon as you go off your minerals, the cravings start up again because it's a mineral deficiency. You'll always get rid of the cravings within 10 to 14 days.